All right, we were driving around doing some sightseeing and we saw a sign that says open house. We Google it, $2.4 million. That's ridiculous. Ca Canadian dollars though. Okay, <laughs> okay, so it's 2 million US dollars then. <laughs> All right, let's see what $2 million or $2.4 million gets you in Toronto. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, come on, let's do it. Mm -hmm. All right guys, we're gonna try to see if we could go to this open house. It says Hope and House, so it's a nice little neighborhood. It's nice and quiet. It's a dead end street. Well, not really. There's an outlet right there, another road to get out. Uh, let's go in and see. Nice, quiet neighborhood. Right next to Casa de Loma. Mm hmm. That's why it's so expensive. So let's go in here. Let's see if we could go in here. Right. I mean, it's an open house, so why not? Eh, they might require Nice little skinny driveway. I don't think a regular size car could fit down here any. <laughs> right? It's a sheer driveway. You look like a marine Uh huh. Came off of this tree. Let's see if anybody's inside. Hello. Good. We saw the sign and we just decided to stop by. Okay. We're actually not from around here. We're going to be from around here. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? But we are from the United States. Wow. Yes. So where were you at Casa Loma? Yes. yes exactly. Visited? Have you been there before? No. no first oh, time. Was it first time? What did you think? Love it. Love it? Yeah, love, I really it. Need love it. Love it. I just love Canada all all together. That's why I'm like, yeah, I'm willing to relocate. Yeah, <laughs> yes. that's a great place. Well, have a look around. Um, this house, if you wouldn't take pictures, I have feature sheets there. This house has been living in for 50 years, they say. Nice little backyard. Ooh. Yeah, she was saying this house has been lived in for like 50 years. So there's lots of work to be done. If somebody buys this, there's a garage right here. It's been a nice big backyard. It's just full of shrubs and trees. So it makes it look a little narrow. Needs lots of love, lots of painting and stuff in the back. But she's saying most of the houses around here, people just knock them down and rebuild because the land is so valuable. So let me go back in and then I'll bring you guys upstairs. Okay. There's asbestos. So, oh wow. Yeah. So, it's a good, okay. it's a good start. Right. Sure. This is the basement area. Let me check it out. A little bathroom right here with a little sink. This house is a $2 million house. Furnace. Just like a Philly house. But only two million dollars more sitting area laundry nook back there and all what's back there bunch of old keys all right let me go upstairs Look at this little closet thing with drawers and stuff. It's got one bedroom here, wallpaper. Ooh, look at this back here. It's got a little sitting area back here. So this could be like a walk-in closet slash bathroom. If you're redoing this, because there's closets here. Not really a closet. Yeah, if you turn this into a nice bathroom. It's got radiator heats. 
here. Yeah, because 50 years they've been mm -hmm. living here, so. I'm sure people die in here. Well, look, this big just... space back here could turn into a master bathroom. Have a nice little room right here. Have a little, oh, that's a nice size closet for this room. You don't even need that piece. So this is a three bedroom house for two million dollars right here in Toronto. This is a nice big room. I like the size. Let's see the bathroom. Yeah. Okay, so they did some work to the bathroom because they're older people, so I guess they took the bathtub out so they could walk in here. I like this. Nice. And that's what 2.5 million gets you.